got Bowser to the right. Um, I'm not... John Lemon to the Three, right. He's two, second on the IEPR. Yeah. Oh, I have no... I like that. <laughs> Oh, no, second on the IEPR is on him. He's first. Rosal's first? Yeah, Rosal's first. Oh, okay, Rosal. Because uh, I'm hip has been traveling out more to select elements, and uh, Rosal just defeated the IE. Not oh. a lot of people could have beat Rosal. Rosal in his, in his own right, a really good player. Oh, yeah. Well, he used to be one kind of those. He was right before Smash. He was in the fire. Yeah, it, we're just talking like sub region talk or so, Cal. Um, if you don't know about it, but I, I, and but Razo is a very consistent top ten PR contender for all of Southern California. So a very good player, one of the top teams at this current time. I like how he uses the uh, side to get out of the corner too. Yeah, especially uh, with Daisy, they don't have too much lag off of, uh, Peach Daisy. Oh, uh, there's the kill. Does get the kill, but yeah. Um, it, it's a lot less lag than it was in Smash 4. It used, that was a very smart usage of the down air. Just beating out that super armor that Krom has on the up B there. Yeah, because he was, didn't get hit by the slash, but he was able to get uh, the armor there. And yeah, I mean, just even Toad in general, right? Any counter counters are going to be really, really good against Krom and Ike. Uh, because they, they don't snap the ledge automatically on the way up. They'll actually overshoot it on the spaces like, yeah. perfectly. Okay. 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 Once again, yeah. that is your stock, John. Yeah, just a little bit too high for that. Play. A lot of Kroms don't like to go too low or a little bit too far from the ledge because Krom has literally no drift on his up. <laughs> uh, just one misspace can actually kill him. Uh, where Ike has like more leeway with his up beat. Yeah. Oh, this, this might be a little bit. So we're going to get out, sneak around, and behind Razo. Can we get that back here? First off, wipes off the table here, but John Lemon sure has a hill climb here, man. Yeah, and very nice. Gets the parry, but not the parry on the second hit on the on the landing hitbox there. Gets gets the get off ledge into up air, but he's getting juggled by John Lemon. I want to see John Lemon uh, slow down a little bit more. He's trying to throw out too many hitboxes. He's throwing out a lot of uh, a lot of hits in disadvantage. And Raz has been waiting it out and getting punishes, just like right there. John Lemon just really trying to hit Razo rather than uh, trying to anticipate the option he wants to do. Call out from Razo, the parasol off the top. And yeah, I mean, just, just an amazing uh, call out right there from Razo. Just saw that he jumped. He already had himself positioned perfectly. Takes him right off the top there. First game going to Razo. Okay, going to be switching into Smash Pro here. Um, going to work for Krom. Uh, a, a better stage for Krom, in my opinion. Smaller stage. Uh, gets to use his disjoint a little bit better. And uh, the side blast zones. Krom has a really strong F tilt to his name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, amazing. Uh, uh, I mean, and, and we see that used so many times in the ledge trap, right? Krom, one of the strongest ledge trapping characters. Not only because of his really good hitboxes more or less trappy but also like the percent you die at because you die you can die to jab back here at around like you know 90s or so even sooner i've seen jab forward smash kill a ridiculously early percent yeah uh especially on smash roll we can expect Raza to die around 60 percent near the ledge if Raza is not careful enough he does get the double carry that time on sony slash very nice awareness from Raza. But John Lemon also has to remember that this is going to work against him, especially when Gaza carries him from corner to corner or off the stage. He can't afford to continue getting hit like that. Ooh, wow, that was so, that was amazing movement from John Lemon. He used the, uh, the gear of her side beat, the wave bounce, and just totally juke Raza. He got the jab, but he didn't get the back here from Raza firing right back with that uh, turn up into the forward combo. Yeah, one, one thing, uh, quite a bit of, uh, I would say Ike and Krom players uh, do is try to jump uh, over their opponent. Uh, they don't want to get really gimped uh, right, too right. early. I believe you have a match. Okay. I'm sorry to leave you alone. No, it's cool. Thank you. Good luck in your match, man. Good luck to you. Are you still playing Lucina? Yo, Mom's probably about to on the mic with me. What's up? Why did you just hand me the microphone? I was going to mute it. Oh. He just handed it over. So now I'm just kind of committed. <laughs> I'm on the mic. 
So you, you, you're, uh, you started playing Chrom as of recently, or I know you started like getting a little bit more into Ultimate and then you started playing Chrom recently, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I just wanted a character that could hit hard. You want to lose people? You want to lose Well, no. I just wanted someone that could cover a lot of ground and hit really hard. There you go. So it's like, okay, then like, there you go. Dang, yo. He was at 60-something. And he's gone. Yeah, John Lemon actually dropped the turn up on the right side, so the counter shot to the right, but he fell right behind Razo, and that forward smash like, obliterated him. Wow. Razo trying to get this gimp. Ooh, turn up just missing. Okay, there's the Bomber, off stage, Dark Spear Dodge again, yeah. Let's think about like uh, Roy and Kong, their air is so good. Yo, that's nerf oh. forward air. He would have been dead pre patch. Yep. He would have been dead pre patch. That was the nerf, guys. He actually would have, yeah. We're you witnessing it. The nerf. Oh! oh my god. We just witnessed the nerf win John Lemon that game too. He would have died to that forward, the forward air. And then he kept all the rage because he lived and just F smashed him, dude. Obliterated. Oh my god. The nerfs, they matter. Everyone's on Twitter. Uh, it didn't matter. Bless uh, it's up. All good. Bless it's all up. Good. You just saw that. Like, oh my god. Well, let's go, Sakurai. I don't know who's in charge of that uh, the, the balance team, but they're doing a great job. Very subtle. They're they're affecting our tournament, our bracket Whoa. lives as we speak. All right, That's guys. I'm, right. I'm gonna pull up chat, man. If you guys, okay. if you guys are excited about the nerfs, let me see the one. If, if, if you guys are, if you guys are hyped for that Peach Forward Air, didn't kill. Let me see the one. Because uh, big hit, man. Big hit. Yeah, that, was, that absolutely would have killed like two weeks ago. Yeah, it was super good. What about this? Still just getting all these up -ears. You get within this bubble of mine, and you're up in the air. I'm sorry. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, and that's kind of the scary thing about like Pete for Daisy versus Krom Roy. Krom Roy have like really good air to air, especially with their disjoints as well. Oh yeah. Krom especially up the out of shield is so fast. Yeah. Up the out of shield is really fast. Yeah. Covers a lot of ground. Yeah. Yeah. Wanna, I don't know. He has, to, he has to sit down. He has to sit down. Yeah, Razo's forward air didn't kill him at 150 center stage because of the nerf, and then John Lemon came back and killed him for the two stock. <laughs> oh, yeah, but that didn't get nerfed. There's not, there's not much you can really do about that situation. Ooh, Ooh, but returning with the forward smash, my boy John Lemon's not done yet. Others. I wanted to call it the landing, but decides to just pull a turn up. Only to get that turn up up and come back out. And yeah, I, I don't know, man. Sakurai not showing any love to the bees here. I don't know, man. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, though. I don't know if it's just the... Uh, ah, cool. Bees just seem a little bit more popular. Like, I money matched the cup for... I money matched a me brawler at Magic Splash. All that. Lee got pretty far. I know Lee played Lee is like in Smash 4, but I don't know, but it definitely seems like the character has a little bit more representation in Smash 4. That's why I felt like there was like way less uh, Lee representative. Well, you also have to take into consideration that a lot of their moves have been banned. Like oh yeah, that's right. right. Like they're this one is free. like, we're, we're free, they're, they're free to do what they want, but then in comparison to Smash Smash 4, where they're just like limited only to 1 1 1 1, and those who did the opposite were kind of just outcasted. Yeah. So it was really, really, it was a risky thing to do as a TO to be like, hey, these are free, and everyone's like, oh my god. Yeah. I don't like Nintendo solving my problem by nerfing characters. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. To be fair though, I think the, the nerfs are healthy because it seems like Nintendo is just trying to nerf like polarizing things. Yeah, that I like. And it, when you're nerfing and buffing, you're trying to balance the game. And the more balanced the game is, um, it can be a little bit more frustrating as a competitor if you like play top tiers. But I think it, it's healthier for everyone that just, even if they just play characters that they just want to play. So I think overall for the game health, it's just a lot more, it's just a lot better. You can see a lot more variety too from the spectator. And even just like playing, like it can be frustrating learning more matchups, but like I think that's that's that also with, really cool. That comes with everything. Yeah, exactly. 
So like learning more matchups too is just it's, it's fun. It's more stuff to do. Oh, oh there it is. No. Razo with the turn up to seal the deal there on John Lemon. My goodness, man, John Lemon did a swell job. If I do say so myself, bringing Razo to game three, last stock. He even had a solid two stock victory, game number two. So, yeah, it's just, it, th this matchup can be very volatile. Anyone with the counter, of course, is gonna be very, very strong versus Krom because of that up B. Uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, I felt like John Lemon did a, a damn good job recovering. Utilized directional air dodge quite a bit, which is uh, something that is a very huge must against 